Welcome to our in-depth guide on interview questions and answers for the role of an industrial electrician. This profession is crucial in maintaining, troubleshooting, and installing electrical systems in large-scale industrial environments. Whether you're preparing for an interview or hiring a qualified electrician, understanding the right questions and effective responses will ensure clarity and confidence in assessing the technical and safety competencies required. Here, we present 10 essential questions, each explained with precision and paired with concise yet complete 220-word answers to help you stand out or evaluate effectively. 1. Describe your experience with industrial electrical systems and equipment. When hiring an industrial electrician, one of the first things to understand is their depth of experience with large-scale electrical systems. Industrial environments are complex, often involving high-voltage equipment, three-phase power, motor control systems, and programmable logic controllers, PLCS. The interviewer aims to determine how familiar the candidate is with this level of responsibility, including working with distribution panels, transformers, and automation systems. Additionally, experience with interpreting blueprints, following safety protocols, and maintaining compliance with local and national electrical codes is critical. They may also be interested in exposure to environments such as factories, refineries, or manufacturing plants. Discussing past projects, roles, or types of systems handled will help demonstrate technical depth and reliability. Mentioning any relevant certifications or licensure, such as a journeyman or master electrician license, can add further credibility. Emphasis should be placed not just on tasks completed, but on how the individual contributed to minimizing downtime, improving efficiency, and ensuring electrical safety. Candidates should offer a summary that reflects both their technical proficiency and their ability to work collaboratively in high-risk environments. Two, how do you approach diagnosing electrical failures in industrial machinery? Diagnosing electrical failures in industrial settings is a complex but essential task that requires both analytical skill and hands-on expertise. The question seeks to uncover the candidate's diagnostic methodology, which should include both reactive and proactive strategies. It's important that the individual can logically approach faults using testing tools like multimeters, insulation resistance testers, or thermal cameras. An effective answer outlines how they identify symptoms, isolate potential causes, test components, and determine whether issues stem from wiring faults, control system errors, sensor problems, or mechanical triggers. Good electricians work through systematic elimination, often starting from the power source and moving downstream. They should also touch on using schematics and ladder diagrams to locate faults. Furthermore, Understanding how to recognize patterns in breakdowns and applying root cause analysis is critical in reducing future failures. The answer should also reflect safe troubleshooting practices under energized or de-energized conditions depending on site policy. Employers want technicians who can diagnose swiftly, minimize downtime, and implement reliable fixes without compromising safety or equipment lifespan. This question helps reveal their troubleshooting discipline and how well they manage electrical issues under pressure. Three, can you explain your knowledge of programmable logic controllers, PLCS, in industrial settings? Industrial electricians today must be comfortable with automation, particularly with PLCS, which are central to controlling industrial processes. This question targets the candidate's proficiency in working with, programming, and troubleshooting PLCS from brands such as Allen Bradley, Siemens, or Mitsubishi. Candidates should explain how they interact with PLCS, whether it's uploading and downloading programs, modifying ladder logic, or identifying I.O. faults through diagnostic software. They should also demonstrate an understanding of input and output modules, HMI integration, and communication protocols like Modbus or Ethernet IP. An effective answer includes examples of projects where they had to troubleshoot malfunctioning PLC-controlled equipment or optimize performance through program changes. Experience in reading logic diagrams and interpreting signals is highly valuable, especially in fast-paced environments like manufacturing. Technicians must also be familiar with the role PLCS play in interlocking safety devices, timers, counters, and analog controls. Employers are interested in candidates who understand both the theoretical and practical sides of PLC operations. Knowledge in this area significantly boosts an industrial electrician's value. 
especially in automated production lines or facilities implementing smart technologies. 4. How do you ensure electrical work meets regulatory and safety standards in an industrial environment? Compliance with electrical codes and safety regulations is a vital responsibility for any industrial electrician. This question probes the candidate's understanding and application of local, national, and site-specific codes, such as the National Electrical Code, NEC, or OSHA standards. A strong response includes adherence to safety protocols like lockout-tagout, LOTO, arc flash mitigation, and proper PPE usage. It should also include their ability to inspect work to ensure code compliance, accurate documentation, and following permit requirements. Many industrial electricians are expected to conduct risk assessments before beginning any work, and they should also demonstrate familiarity with safety data sheets, SDS, confined space protocols, and elevated work procedures. Understanding circuit ratings, grounding systems, and overcurrent protection is essential. The employer wants assurance that the electrician prioritizes safety as much as functionality. Candidates should illustrate past experiences where they maintained compliance, led safety checks, or contributed to workplace safety programs. An effective answer conveys a balance of technical knowledge and safety culture awareness. 5. What is your experience with preventive and predictive maintenance on electrical systems? This question seeks to determine how proactive the candidate is in maintaining equipment before failure occurs. Preventive maintenance involves scheduled tasks like inspecting connections, cleaning panels, tightening terminals, or lubricating motors, while predictive maintenance uses data to anticipate failures. A well-rounded answer should highlight knowledge of thermographic scanning, vibration analysis, insulation resistance testing, and using SCADA or CMMS systems to monitor performance. Employers look for electricians who understand the long-term value of routine inspections and are trained to identify early warning signs. Examples should include past maintenance schedules developed, types of equipment covered, and measurable improvements in uptime or safety. Candidates should also discuss collaboration with other departments and documenting procedures thoroughly. Preventive maintenance not only saves costs, but also enhances operational reliability. A strong candidate shows commitment to system longevity and can explain how they adjust schedules based on usage, environment, or historical data. This reflects their foresight, planning ability, and understanding of critical systems' importance in industrial operations. 6. Describe a situation where you had to work under pressure to resolve an electrical emergency. Electrical emergencies in industrial settings require quick thinking, safe practices, and decisive action. This question aims to understand the candidate's ability to remain calm under pressure while resolving urgent issues. It's important for the answer to outline a specific incident, the steps taken, and the outcome. For example, a critical production machine may have failed during peak operation, causing downtime that could cost thousands of dollars per hour. The candidate should detail how they diagnosed the problem, communicated with team members or supervisors, and carried out temporary or permanent solutions. The emphasis should be on safety, efficiency, and collaboration. Industrial electricians must often respond during odd hours or with limited resources, so adaptability is key. This question helps interviewers gauge how well the individual handles stress, prioritizes safety, and balances speed with accuracy. Providing a successful resolution reinforces their problem-solving abilities and reliability under critical circumstances. Responded to sudden panel failure during production. Identified shorted VFD, isolated fault, and replaced module safely. Restored system within two hours while coordinating with supervisors and maintaining full lockout-tagout procedures. Avoided prolonged shutdown and injury risk. 7. How do you stay updated with new electrical technologies and industrial standards? Industrial electricians must continuously evolve their knowledge due to rapid advancements in automation, energy systems, and smart technologies. This question explores how candidates maintain technical relevance. An effective answer should reflect a commitment to professional development through industry certifications, workshops, online courses, or trade publications. Many electricians pursue further education in PLC programming, renewable energy systems, or advanced diagnostics. 
Membership in professional bodies like the NFPA or IEEE also demonstrates engagement. Candidates should describe how they stay informed about code updates, changes in safety protocols, and emerging technologies such as IoT-connected devices or energy-efficient controls. Employers want assurance that the candidate remains aware of best practices and innovations that could improve facility performance. Staying updated is also a sign of personal motivation and readiness for leadership or mentoring roles. Mentioning how this learning is applied practically, like suggesting upgrades, improving safety, or training peers, adds strength to the response. Regularly attend technical seminars, complete online modules on PLC advancements, and review NEC updates. Subscribe to electrical trade journals and follow IEEE resources. Apply new knowledge to upgrade systems, improve efficiency, and support junior staff. Eight, what types of motors have you worked with and how do you maintain them? Electric motors are the backbone of industrial systems, so understanding motor types and their maintenance is critical. This question evaluates familiarity with a C and DC motors, three-phase motors, servo motors, and VFD controlled motors. Candidates should describe tasks such as installation, alignment, insulation resistance testing, and bearing inspections. It's important to highlight troubleshooting skills, identifying symptoms of motor failure like overheating, abnormal sounds, or current imbalance. Employers seek electricians who not only respond to issues, but can prevent them through proactive care. Explaining knowledge of nameplate data, load balancing, thermal protection, and capacitor testing is valuable. Discussing experience with laser alignment tools, vibration meters, and thermographic cameras adds depth. Proper motor care ensures equipment longevity, safety, and energy efficiency, all of which are priorities in industrial operations. Technicians must also be capable of logging maintenance activities and recommending replacements or upgrades when needed. An ideal answer communicates practical experience across various industries and motor types. Service day C, DC, and three-phase induction motors. Performed alignment, bearing replacement, and mega testing. Installed VFDs and calibrated motor overloads. Diagnosed failures due to misalignment or phase loss and ensured safe, optimized motor operations. Nine. How do you handle coordination with other departments during electrical projects or shutdowns? Coordination with other departments is essential to the smooth execution of maintenance or installation projects, especially during planned shutdowns. This question probes the candidate's teamwork and communication skills. Electricians must collaborate with production, maintenance, safety, and engineering teams to plan work that minimizes disruption. An effective answer includes past examples of cross-functional collaboration, perhaps during an equipment upgrade, power distribution rework, or preventive maintenance outage. It's vital to discuss planning, scheduling, risk mitigation, and updating stakeholders. Electricians should demonstrate flexibility, understanding of production priorities, and proactive communication. They must also be responsive to changes, such as delays or emergencies. The interviewer wants to see whether the candidate contributes to a culture of teamwork and safety. Mentioning documentation, job briefings, and safety meetings enhances the answer's impact. Strong coordination ensures that electrical work supports broader operational goals. Worked closely with maintenance, operations, and safety during shutdowns. Participated in planning meetings, coordinated tasks to avoid bottlenecks, and ensured timely updates used clear communication to complete projects safely without impacting production timelines. 10. What safety measures do you follow when working with high-voltage equipment? Working with high-voltage systems carries significant risk, and this question evaluates the candidate's knowledge of protocols and personal responsibility. A strong answer outlines steps taken to ensure safety, including following site-specific procedures, verifying isolation, using appropriate PPE, and observing clearance distances. Candidates should mention training in arc flash awareness, the use of insulated tools, and lockout tagout practices. Proper documentation and obtaining permits for high voltage work are essential. Employers expect electricians to prevent incidents by adhering to procedures, being detail oriented, and never taking shortcuts. Explaining the importance of pre job briefings, buddy systems, 
and emergency preparedness adds credibility. Safe high-voltage practices are non-negotiable in any industrial environment. This answer should reflect a commitment to maintaining both personal safety and the safety of others on site. Follow strict protocols, lockout, tagout, verify zero energy, wear arc-rated PPE, and use insulated tools. Attend hazard briefings, confirm permits, and never work alone. Respect approach distances and prioritize safety over speed on all high-voltage tasks. Mastering these questions not only demonstrates technical expertise, but also showcases commitment to safety, collaboration, and continuous learning. With strong answers, candidates can establish themselves as dependable, skilled professionals ready for industrial challenges.